Last week, NASA released some new information in their search of deep space. The discovery of 54 new planets outside our solar system capable of sustaining life. NASA Director Charles Bolden, who's from Columbia, believes it's just a matter of time now before other life-changing discoveries are made. I have no doubt. Uh, you know, about things that will be discovered in the next year or so that will help us continue to rewrite textbooks. We that is an open-ended statement. Now, for many, NASA's news last week went unnoticed. It was, after all, just another story. But for others, the information is something they already believe, that there are other worlds out there with people just like us. It's a question man has been asking for centuries. Are we alone? And could there really be life out there somewhere? For some, the answer is easy. NASA, they say, knows that alien life exists and that we're being visited on a regular basis. Maybe the powers to be are setting us up for disclosure and make, making it more subtle so that it doesn't, isn't a big jolt to us. Clifford Cliff is the worldwide director of MUFON, the mutual UFO network. They have some 1,000 investigators. MUFON receives about 500 UFO sighting reports a month. Of that, we are able to, the 400 of them, we can prove that they are something very normal, like planetary, uh, astronomical events, uh, natural events, black ops, hill of, or black ops airplanes, that type of thing, JR. But the hundred events that we get each year or each month that we can't explain, some of them are extremely hair-raising. One of their latest investigations has to do with this video from January 28th of this year. A mysterious light is seen descending from the sky in Jerusalem. Multiple videos have surfaced of the supposed event. They all show the light hovering above the Dome of the Rock. After a few seconds, there appears to be some sort of energy burst. And then the light zooms away. So, is this proof positive that aliens exist, or is it nothing more than an elaborate hoax? MUFON believes NASA knows for sure. They do have a significant amount of information about the UFO phenomenon and ETs that they have not disclosed that are still there. Some of the astronauts have come forward now and are indicating that they have seen and and witness things that uh, were beyond their explanation. Last October, during a satellite interview with NASA Director Charlie Bolden, I asked the former astronaut if he had ever seen anything in space. JR, I must admit, um, everybody that goes to space wants to see an alien. Uh, or wants to see some evidence that there is other life in our universe. Uh, and I'm no difference, but I, I am here to report that I saw no evidence. Uh, although deep in my heart, I, I believe that there is good potential for, for other life in our, in our universe. There is no doubt we are being visited. However, one of Bolden's colleagues says otherwise. Dr. Edgar Mitchell was the sixth man to walk on the moon. He came forward years ago claiming to have proof that alien life is out there. The universe that we live in is much more wondrous, exciting, complex, and far-reaching than we were ever able to know up to this point in time. And uh, the fact we have wondered, were we alone in the universe forever? Only in our period do we really have evidence, no, we're not alone. So what's going on here? Why the different stories from two credible NASA sources? Last month, I had the chance to catch up with the NASA director again, this time in person, and I asked him about Ed Mitchell's stunning comments. Ed Mitchell is a big believer in, in extraterrestrials. And as you and I talked about before, I am one who, because of my faith, I believe that there is very likely other life somewhere else in the universe. I just don't have any evidence to back that up. Uh, but Edgar, Edgar is one who, contrary to, to my observations, uh, actually claims to have evidence that, that extraterrestrials exist. Even the Vatican has weighed in on the question of alien life. The Pope saying it's okay to believe in ETs because if they do exist, then God made them too, something UFO investigators embrace. God created the heavens and the earth, 
he didn't just create the earth, he created the whole universe. So if he created all of it, then he created those beings that are out there too. So I'm sure there are brothers and sisters. It's MUFON's belief that the final answers are coming soon. And after talking with Charlie Bolden, they could be right. We may soon learn if there's life out there. I have no doubt, uh, you know, about things that will be discovered in the next year or so that will help us continue to rewrite textbooks. I have never seen anything, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean they don't exist.